In this video, we'll find the oxidation numbers for each of the elements here in Na2Cr2O7, sodium dichromate. We use these general rules to help us figure that out. So we know that elements in group one, right here, group one, and sodium's in that first group, they're plus one. So that's the oxidation number on the sodium. We don't know the chromium here, but we do know oxygen right here is normally a minus two, with just a few exceptions. So we've got a minus two for the oxygen. So using that information and the fact that this is a neutral compound, there's no overall charge. So all the oxidation numbers, they're going to add up to zero. So we can figure this out with that information. So we could say two times plus one, that's two plus, we don't know the chromium here. And then we have seven times the minus two, that's minus 14. So all of this needs to equal zero. So 2 plus 12 minus 14 equals 0. So this is a 12 here. So both of these chromiums have an oxidation number of plus 12. But we have two of them. So each one is going to be plus 6. So 2 times plus 6, that gives us the 12. 2 times the 1, there's the 2. They add up to 0. So to recap, we found the oxidation numbers for the elements we knew using these general rules. And then we use those oxidation numbers and the fact that in a neutral compound, all the oxidation numbers, they add up to zero. Then we could find the chromium. This is Dr. B with the oxidation numbers for Na2Cr2O7, sodium dichromate. Thanks for watching.